So I'm playing Virtua Racing on the Switch and it's this pristine thing at 1080p 60 on a modern display. It feels so small, smooth as to be clinical. Nothing like the incredible 15 FPS game I fell in love with on my 32X. And it just feels all wrong. This is just one game, but I have a similar effect from playing Tomb Raider on Saturn versus the new remasters and some other titles too. Uh, for these older games that receive modern ports, something special is lost, or is it just me? I can kind of, John, I can kind of hear Night Dive in the background crying. Yeah. <laughs> well, what well, do you make of this? First of all, I have to pull up my actually head, mm -hmm. <laughs> which right. is to say the 32X version runs at 20 frames per second. Excuse me. Uh, the Mega Drive version is 15. So ah, yeah. yes. okay. Just, okay. just just setting the stage there. Uh <laughs> but but the arcade game ran at 30. Yeah. But then every other Sega arcade game past model one was 60. So I feel like they always wanted 60 for that series, right? Like that's just that was what that that was the intent from the beginning. Right. And so but I see what yeah. he's saying where if you get used to a certain version I don't know. That's hard. That's, that's hard for me to. I mean, I, I see where they're coming from, but like something like Tomb Raider and Saturn, it's not like slower but stable. It's just really unstable, and I think that feels awful. Uh, the you know what I mean? Like if the, the early days of three D, yeah, the early days of three D are really tricky because it's obvious that these the developers didn't want the games to be running at fifteen frames per second if they could ha actually help it. Exactly, mm -hmm. and it's like. You know, the other versions of PS1 Tomb Raider is pretty much a locked 30 FPS most of the time. And on PC, it's also, well, it's 30 FPS capable, though machines of that era probably weren't doing that yet. Right. But that's where it would get to. Uh, Super Mario 64 is 30 with occasional dips, but it's largely pretty stable. And I think that feels great even today. But like, I don't know, man, I don't feel like anything's lost with, with bumping performance up. Uh, I can see image quality. Like I actually do kind of like the low res 240p look in a lot of cases. Uh, <clears throat> but frame rate, I, I feel like going for higher frames is always better whenever possible. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Sometimes there is something a bit jarring about seeing like, for example, Doom looking completely pristine at 4K. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a weird disconnect because obviously the original intent of the game wasn't for it to look like that or even move like that so yeah that 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 can be a bit tricky i don't know the thing is those old versions aren't going anywhere i guess it be does become harder to actually play them though over time right Alex, right what do you think about this i feel like yeah uh, this is a i mean i don't agree with it necessarily but it is good when games are remastered and brought out to new platforms that there's perhaps the ability to at least play it and it's less adulterated state as part of that version so this could be an issue of the release like um i'm trying to think of a good well i just covered the uh pc port of majora's mask using this uh 64 recomp recompilation project and in there there is the ability to run it at the native resolution of its original resolution and also if you really wanted to running the game at the original frame rate uh the 20 fps limit that is i don't know if it would it probably if I don't even know if that game would have had frame rate drops from 20. Maybe it did, um, but it wouldn't replicate those. But it would at least keep the same, very much so similar look and experience there. And I think that's a part of preservation uh, that is maybe not always there. Like, I really do love the Night Diver Masters. But if you technically go back in time of their Night Diver Masters, things like uh, Turok, for example, they did things like change level geometry, which, you know, I think that's great because they made the game much more approachable, but also it's not necessarily exact preservation at that point in time. So I feel like yeah. as part of the experience, offering the original version in its less adulterated, you know, just as much close as possible within reason, I think that's another part of remastering that could be there. And it, don't only, it wouldn't be that hard necessarily because it's like a five megabyte file, probably if we're talking about old games, right? Mm. I don't know though. Yeah, you know, going back to this question, I'm not sure I'd want to play play virtual racing at 30 fps, let alone 15, if the option no, of, no, of 60 is either. there. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, you know, I'm thinking, you know, when I think of virtual racing, I actually think of the arcade version, which was kind of pristine. And I think of those renders that they put right, out on the right. flyers, and it does feel as though the dream is finally here in that respect. So it's it's. 
Yeah, tricky. But I get what you're saying, Alex, which is that yeah. if a game is properly remastered, uh, similar to what they're doing with um, Majora's Mask with those uh, uh, recompilation projects, the options to actually have the original experience should be there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just don't think too many people will be using them. They right. meant, you mentioned Tomb Raider, though, and that does actually have the classic mode, and it does run at a lower frame rate, so right. which is interesting. So you yeah. still you still kind of get an experience that looks like the original. And since if you play it on a lot of PC games, the PC version in DOS, frame persistency was not always perfect either. And yeah. since there's frame pacing issues in the new version when in classic mode, it somehow feels pretty dang accurate <laughs> in a lot of ways. <laughs> Uh, mm. So, you know, it's already, he's got the option there. Speaking of Tomb Raider, I did enjoy it. Somebody put together a compilation of uh, Lara's back leap across every single Oh, yeah. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> and you get, to the, you get to the modern ones and, and she's just sort of shuffling backwards. <laughs> yeah. No, no backflip whatsoever. It was, uh, that, That's definitely that was a loss for gaming, backflip. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we lost something. 